Greetings from Southern Yankee Homestead. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Uh, today, we're gonna be starting to do some clearing. Well, if you see over here, behind me, actually I probably ought to get in a better position. So if you see over here behind me, this area here is uh, pretty clear. But when I flip back this way, yeah, it's pretty well overgrown. So the way we're going to clear this is the easy method. Well, easy for us. We have goats. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fencing this area off over here so that the goats can run through it. we got some cleanup to do, so I might not finish this today. But if you also look right here, just past the ladders, we just have a temporary fence set up there because we have future plans for this area. So we're going to set up another fence and then we're going to peel this fence back a little and then block off the rest of this area over here so that the goats can do our work for us. Um, yeah. But before we get started on that, we got something else we got to do. The other thing we got to do over here behind our uh, storage barn, we have a bunch of these stakes that are sticking up. Well, we're going to need these stakes for what we're going to be doing. And also you can see there, leaning against the building, is some of our fencing we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using cattle panels. We found that they're very effective uh, at keeping goats in and they're multiple uses around the homestead. But let me go ahead and get the tractor because we're gonna pull the fence posts out the easy way. And if you're wondering what that is in the background, sorry, you're gonna have to wait. That's a project for this winter. We got a couple other little projects ahead of that that uh, we're going to get into here, hopefully in the next couple videos. Although we do have another off the homestead video that's going to be coming soon. Uh, we got an extra trip that we weren't originally planning going on in a weekend or two. I don't have a fence puller, so we're just going to use what we do have. I know, I probably ought to have a fence puller or a fence T-post puller, but I just haven't spent the money. I got the tractor. Why do I want to strain that hard? Might be quicker. Everyone's in such a big hurry nowadays. Right here in the background, I haven't quite pulled all the posts yet, but what I'm going to do, uh, right where the tractor is parked right now, we have a little bit of uh, leftover hay from the uh, where we were feeding the uh, boy goats. So we're going to go ahead and get that cleaned up and then continue with the posts. Now that all the T-posts are removed, uh, it's time to move the panels over closer to where we're going to need them. Um, what I did here, you can see, I got a little piece of rope. What I did was I counted how many uh, squares there were on the panel, that way I can center it. I'm then going to bring the uh, tractor over with the pallet forks and basically spear each one of the panels onto the pallet fork so that I can lift them up and carry them over to where I need to be. Oh, and I just show you, might make it easier.
To start, I'm going to put a T-post down near the tractor. That's just going to be an arbitrary position where we're going to be setting a line so that we can keep this fence straight. It's a temporary fence, so it's not that important, but we're going to go ahead and set one because anything else on a homestead or a farm, temporary is more permanent than you might think. So let me switch over to time lapse and see what we can get. take a minute here while I'm uh, cooling off and show you what I'm doing. So, yeah, that's a interesting bug right there. Anyhow, what I'm using is um, baling twine. This is plastic. We can't use it for anything else, and that's looser than crap, but you know what? It's going to hold. Uh, I'm just looping it around it and pulling it tight and running it all the way down. Uh, this, again, is a temporary fence. So we could use the uh, T-clip wiring and whatnot and tighten it up some, but realistically, uh, we're just putting this temporary. We're putting the goats in here. So next step, sometime tomorrow afternoon, I got to go ahead and move all the trailers because I don't know if you can see that or not down there. Basically, this line is going to go right through the trailer. This is where it ended, where we didn't have to cut or bend the panel, so this is where we're going to leave it. This will be the uh, outer edge of where the goats can go. So, we will see you in the next scene, but for us it will be tomorrow. I thought you had an intro. Well, I did, but it was yesterday. Well, I am going to be your intro. Okay. Hi! <laughs> So I have my lovely assistant here today. Uh, we're a little bit later in the day. We've been running around doing a bunch of other stuff, uh, both homestead related and not related. And we've got company coming over in a little bit uh, to drop off some stuff. So we're gonna end up having to cut this one a little short again today. So unfortunately, I think we're gonna be going on to the third day on this one. I already ran the intro, but I'm just doing a thing because I had just a break in it. You'll see which you know, intro you like. Well, no, because it's a break in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and flip you over to time lapse so that you can uh, not be completely bored out of your mind as we continue doing this. Anything to add? No. Okay.
fencing is all done. Uh, we're going to be releasing the goats in there in a little bit. Uh, I got to put up a, a little bit of a uh, side piece to keep the goats coming into the new area so that they stay out of the old area. So you know, that's what the old area looks like. This hasn't been mowed all summer long. I kid you not, the goats have kept it trimmed to that height all summer. Uh, what we're going to be doing is, uh, once uh, we get the goat switched over, we're going to start cleaning this area up. We're going to thin out some of the trees, and we're also going to uh, probably plant some seed and scrape out a lot of pine needles. A lot of pine needles. So, I don't know what we're going to do with them yet, but we're going to scrape them out regardless. Uh, what I'm going to do now is face the sun so that you get better view. I'm going to set the camera at a designated location and then walk this corner. Uh, I'm going to revisit this probably in about a month uh, so that you can see what the goats actually do. So this is the what is this 26th of September uh, 2021 that I'm doing this. So we'll see what happens on the 26th of October. I'll break these pine needles back to where we can get them. Hey, look at this. They're following you. Bella's got brain damage. I think you get the idea of what we're doing. What I'm going to uh, do next is I'm going to bring that around to this tree and then to the corner of the uh, shed and then bring it all the way over to the fence on the other side. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because even though the goats are in the new section, the chickens are still in the old section. And I don't want to block the chickens off. They're not that smart. So even if I left a gap, they might not be able to find it. So I'm going to leave this where it is for now 
and we will revisit this in a month so you can see the changes that have happened. You might see some behind the scenes stuff too because we're going to start cleaning up this area too. So please do that whole YouTube thing where you help us out so we can continue to do videos. You know, like, subscribe, comment, you know, the usual. Thanks for watching. Bye. To start off, I'm going to set a post down by the tractor. That's just going to be an arbitrary position. That is going to be an arbitrary posi position. I'll have a video for that day. It'll probably be a quick one just so you can see what the goats actually do did, dude. What the goats actually dude.